Coinbase stock. Ticker symbol COI in this company. This company's not doing too well. With a broader decline in both large cap tech and cryptocurrency, Coinbase is right in the middle. And it is not pretty. And that's a, an understatement on the day. Down 11.41% over the past one day alone. Five day returns now. Down 23.16%. You see Coinbase apparently trading at a discount. Looking cheap. And you decide to buy in all but five days ago at a price of $67. Well, now you've lost 23% of your money. That is the reality of this marketplace, the reality of the pain around Coinbase. One month returns, down 15.92%. Six month returns, now look at this. Over the past six months, 80%, 79.73% of your money absolutely gone. Year to date, the same story. One year returns now, down 78.3%. Five year returns, so the IPO price, if you had bought back at the IPO, all excited about Coinbase, you've lost 84.83% of your money. The company currently trades at a 4.98 PE, which may, may seem fairly low. And you may ask yourself, why is Coinbase getting punished so much? Well, as I said, not only are we experiencing a collapse in the stock market, but also today, a massive collapse across cryptocurrencies more broadly. Bitcoin, Bitcoin getting absolutely hammered, down 12.64%, five day returns now down, 23.12%. Look at this, just an absolute drop off a cliff. That's what's happened to this company. That's what the company or this this equity, this investment, I suppose that's what you call it, one month return, down 20.64%, six month returns down 50.4%, and year to date down 51.4%. Look at this massive decline. Look how violent that decline has occurred. We had that massive uptick around November 2021, but since then, Bitcoin is almost down 70% in value. Ethereum, Ethereum is the same case. Five day returns of negative 31.52%, just absolute capitulation day over day. Year to date down 67.45%. One year returns now down 51.12%. Five year returns from that high, from that high on I think the 5th of November 2021, now down 72.83%. So with the premier cryptocurrencies absolutely capitulating with the market more broadly falling apart under the pressure of Ukraine, increased interest rates, the potential of a recession on the horizon. Naturally, Coinbase is getting swept up in that. The stock price has absolutely suffered, now down 85.54% from its high. So, what are my thoughts? Is this, stock, this is a stock that I should be absolutely staying away from, completely ignoring, moving away given the negative secular trends around the business? Or... Is it actually an undervaluation opportunity? Is there actually finally, after these massive declines in Coinbase stock, is there finally a chance to buy into this equity? Let's investigate. When it comes to underlying financial stability, you know, Coinbase isn't too bad. A fairly healthy cash to debt ratio. Cash to debt ratio of 1.73. So if they so decide, that's all the debt obligations gone and then still have cash on hand to reinvest and build out their business going forward. Combine that with the constant free cash flow or what was once constant free cash flow accreting from their business and you've got a fairly financially stable business but the second part of that equation the free cash flow flowing in from operations i'm sorry to say it but it's drying up it's not there as much as it once was the free cash flow accreting to this company is declining and declining rapidly you know how i know because of those graphs i just showed you the massive declines in bitcoin the massive declines in ethereum naturally with these type of declines there's no more euphoria there's no more excitement around cryptocurrency people are starting to realize that hey maybe Maybe these crypto coins, they're not worth as much as we once thought. And so the euphoria subsides. People aren't investing as much. And naturally, if people aren't buying and selling, trading cryptocurrency on their platform, where does the revenue go? The revenue disappears. And that's what's happening to Coinbase. Revenue, incrementally. I think next quarter, this coin's going to be an absolute bloodbath in terms of their tangible revenue and free cash flow accreting to the business. That's the reality I'm seeing, not only with stock brokerages more broadly, but also particularly in relation to Coinbase, anything with a crypto related tinge and a brokerage crypto function, absolutely punished. Yes, there is a healthy cash to debt ratio, healthy amount of cash on hand, free cash flow, not so much. And that's reflected in that Altman score, an Altman score now only of 1.77, indicating almost, in fact, quite frankly, realistically, a large degree of distress with the business. I imagine that next quarter, next quarter earnings, that Altman score could slide down even lower. Well, we're thin that distress sector because the fact of the matter is yes they have cash on hand but their free cash flow is drying up and without free cash flow without constant free cash flow allowing them to cover their various business costs this business is in some serious trouble that's the reality of this company 
Yes, there is underlying profitability right now, and that's by virtue of the quality of their underlying company. I've never doubted the underlying business model of Coinbase. I think it's actually fairly impressive. You think about it. For each trade done on their platform, for each trade executed on their platform, once the platform has been established, what marginal costs are there? What costs does this business actually occur in running its operations? The answer, virtually nothing. Aside from staffing costs and the server costs to run their platform, costs are virtually zero. And that allows them to maintain massive net margin profitability. Profitability of 33.63%. Operating margins also fairly good at 21%. And gross margins, gross margins give you a full picture at 81.79%. That's the reality. That's the reality of this company on a profitability basis, almost unmatched. This is a high class business on a profitability basis. But for that model to work, for that massive underlying profitability to really have a tangible impact on the business, you need people using your platform. You need people making trades and making trades fairly actively. You don't have that anymore. That's going away. People are moving more and more away from cryptocurrency, no longer invested or no longer interested at all in these underlying assets that people now are seeing is very speculative. What do they actually produce? People are actually starting to ask the questions that long-term investors have been asking for months on end. And now normal people, the retail investors are saying, listen, Maybe they were right. Maybe they were right about the consistent declines and lack of actual value creation associated with these coins. That's what people are starting to think. That's what people are starting to say. And as that happens, you know that profitability has the potential to degrade as well. Profitability incrementally going down quarter over quarter. We saw profitability as high as 46% but a few quarters ago. And now, now it's only 33.63%. That's the reality. That's the actual tangible reality of this company. Yes, Returns on equity are fairly good. Returns on equity of 48.03%. Fairly good. In fact, better than 97% of all other companies within the, the software space. But is that really going to stand up? Is that really going to stand up when your users go away? When people are no longer using your platform? I don't think so. So we have evident issues in terms of free cash flow accretion. Free cash flow drying up for this company. We have a massive threat to the underlying profitability as people continue to stop using cryptocurrency as they see... These massive collapses and the actual tangible risk associated with buying cryptocurrency because it doesn't just go up. People forget. People forget 2018. They forget the declines that have happened before. People buy into euphoria. They don't think about the past. People, I can guarantee you, people buying in here, seeing this massive run-up, they weren't thinking about back in 2017. They weren't thinking about the 2017 collapse where it lost over 82% of its value. They were only thinking about, my friend's making money. The other investor I know is making money. The other guy I know is making money. So I must be making money as well. That's not the reality. Bubbles burst. Things come to an end. That's life. So, what about the valuation? What about the valuation? Is it at trading at a fair value now after these substantial declines in terms of the underlying equity price? Well, based upon the P-E ratio, you might think, yeah, P-E ratio is actually pretty good. P-E ratio is very, very low now at only 5.98. And if we break this down a little more, a little more tangible detail in terms of the growth that needs to be priced in to get a fair value going forward... You know, it gets even more appealing. In fact, on the day, all we need to price in, in fact, all we need to price in terms of tangible growth going forward over the next decade is a growth rate of negative 8.93%. That's it. If they lose earnings at 8.93%, almost 9% over the next decade, so at the end of the next decade, they have 90% of their total earnings wiped out, it's still fairly valued. You're still getting a fair value for your money, which is a phenomenal undervaluation equation. They could lose 90% of their tangible earnings and still be undervalued, still be trading at the current trading price as seen today. That is a what appears to be a very appealing buying opportunity. But you need to ask yourself, will crypto be around a decade from now? Will crypto trading be around a decade from now? If you are a crypto bull, if you believe in the next 10, 15, 20 years, cryptocurrency is going to absolutely change the way we, we transact, and the way we conduct business in the world more broadly, then absolutely massive Buying opportunity evident within this company. Tremendous buying opportunity. One of the single greatest undervaluation opportunities I've seen in a long, long time. But if you're not as bullish on crypto, if you think crypto is more a speculative asset, one that's not going to be around for too much longer than this, this is the epitome of a value trap. It really comes down to, quite naturally, your opinions on crypto. If you're a crypto bull, then Coinbase is an absolute buy. Massively undervalued. But if you're not so bullish on crypto, then... All I can say is hands off. Don't touch it. But over long term, let me show you the upside potential. If we were to price in the growth of, let's say, 5% going forward in the next decade, still a fairly low growth rate going forward in the next 10 years, growth rate of 5%, look at that fair value. 
Just with a growth rate of just 5% going forward over the next 10 years, discount rate of 9% current earnings per share figure of $9.37 a share. Look at that fair value. Fair value of $126.98. A margin of safety of 59.2%. That is the opportunity available within this company. That is the opportunity available within this business. If you are that crypto bull as I specified before. Of course, everything with crypto, everything with Coinbase comes down to your underlying beliefs around cryptocurrency. How influential will it be over the next few years? How influential will it be? Will there be another bull run? Or are we looking at a very prolonged crypto winter where people are simply not interested in buying anymore? It's up to you to decide. It's up to you to postulate and understand that, that theoretical undertaking. But if you enjoyed this video, if you have to learn something more about my current thoughts on Coinbase and the cryptocurrency market more broadly, then please drop us a like down below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. If there's a company or a topic you want me to talk about in the next video, then please just comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Until then, thank you. I'll see you in the next one.